And now we'll talk about evaluating polynomials. And the term evaluate, remember, just means to find a value. So we want to get a number, a value. And we can evaluate a polynomial if we're given a value of the variable. So we'll look at some examples here. Example 1, we're going to evaluate this polynomial, x squared minus 8x plus 15, if x equals 2. So the variable x, which shows up there and there, if that has a value of 2, then what's the value of this entire mathematical expression? Well, the way to do this is to rewrite this expression, but instead of x, there and there, we're going to put in a 2, because x equals 2. So let's take this polynomial and rewrite it, but instead of writing x, write 2. So I'll write 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 15. And then I just do the math. I figure out what that works out to. Well, 2 squared right there is 4. And then I have minus 8 times 2. That's 16. And I have plus 15. And 4 minus 16 plus 15 just works out to 3. So 3 is the value of this polynomial if x is 2. Okay, let's look at example 2. We're told to evaluate x squared minus 4x minus 4 if x equals 8. No, I'm sorry, that's if x equals 5. So just like we did before, we're going to rewrite this polynomial, but in place of the variable x, we're going to put in a 5. So let's do it. We have 5 squared minus 4 times 5 minus 4. Well, 5 squared is 25, and then we have minus 4 times 5, that's 20, minus 4, and that works out to 1. All right, example three, we're told to evaluate x cubed minus 7x squared plus 250 if x equals 10. So let's rewrite the polynomial, but in place of x, we're going to use the value of 10. So we get 10 cubed minus 7 times 10 squared plus 250. Well, 10 cubed is 10 times 10 times 10. That's 1,000. And then 7 times 10 squared, we have to do the 10 squared first. That's 100. And then we multiply that by 7. That gives us 700 plus 250. And 1,000 minus 700 is 300. Plus 250 works out to 550. And then example 4, example 4 is x squared minus 5x if x equals negative 2. So we'll rewrite the polynomial, but using a value of negative 2 for x. So this is negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, and then minus 5 times negative 2, these two minus signs give me a positive number. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10, so this is 4 plus 10, and that equals 14. And example 5, x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x if x equals negative 3. So we'll rewrite this, and x shows up here in three places, and in all three places we'll put in the value of negative 3. So we have negative 3 cubed plus 4 times negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3. Now negative 3 cubed, that's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. That's negative 27. And then we have 4 times negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is 9, so that's 4 times 9. 
and then negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6. So I'll, I'll rewrite this again just to simplify it a little bit. This is negative 27 plus 36 plus 6. And that works out to 15. So that's the basic idea behind evaluating polynomials. You just put in the given value for the variable and do the arithmetic to come up with an overall value for the polynomial.